you're missing out on $100,000 plus if you don't take advantage of this in the next 12 months. What's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle. I wanted to come to you guys and share with you the number one thing or one of the things you must prioritize in the next 12 months, AKA 2020, if you want to add an additional six figures to your net worth, your income. A lot of people are sleeping on this. Everybody's looking for the right now money, which is important if you have no money or your financial situation is in a little bit of a burden. You obviously need right now money, but do not sleep on six month money, 12 month money, long term money, because those long term plays are going to come around. Even though you need money right now to pay right now's bills, don't forget about what could happen 12 months from now, because think about it, 2019 is over. And I can't even believe how fast the year went. But think about it. If you were setting something up in January, February, March, April, once it gets around those warm months, especially if you're in a colder climate, I feel like those warm months just fly. Even colder months, doesn't matter the weather, life goes so fast. And if you have something being prepped up, you're going to really thank yourself because you're going to have something that in 10, 11 months you can eat from. You plant the seeds now and you eat later. What I'm referring to, and it's something you need to prioritize in the next 12 months, is your credit. If you're making a little bit of money, stop blowing it all. Stop blowing that cash and take that cash and learn how to secure credit. Man, if you could go into a bank right now, right? Go into a bank. I could go into any bank right now. Now, with banks, it's a little harder to get like you know, unsecured loans, but when you go for unsecured credit cards, man, they throw them things at you. When you have good credit, they throw unsecured credit cards at you. Little, um, smaller named uh, lending companies throw unsecured loans at you all day long if your credit is above a 700. If you have some history, if you don't have any derogatories, no late payments, judgments, liens, shit like that. You need to get your credit right, man. People say, oh, I don't want debt. I can't pay the payments back. Click my video here or here to learn here or here about how to actually crack the credit game and come out of pocket $0 when you have a loan. If you have a loan for 10 grand, how do you not have to come out of pocket not a single dollar to pay that loan back? That's a little hack that you can use when you get loans. You get a loan for 10, 20, 30 grand, you don't have to stress your mind about having to pay it back because you can actually use a little trick and pay them back with their own money. Check the link in the description or you know click the little card on the screen. But you need to be putting your credit on the forefront for the next 12 months. Debt is not bad. Debt is leverage. There's good debt and there's bad debt. But at the same time, if you got a credit card that you can swipe and you're in a jam and your business tanks and you have no available cash, you need to be able to swipe the credit card. Don't live your life playing with all cash, man. You're playing small. You're playing small. Okay, you got what, 10, 20 grand in cash? Good. I just went to a bank and got a half a million dollar loan. Who's winning now? You, you can't compete with me. You can't buy as many properties as I can buy. So this is what I would do for 2020, right? Get yourself a foundational business. Get yourself a business that can pay you. Minimum... 5000 a month profit. 5000 a month profit. If you got a job on the side, cool. Not telling you to quit your job, but get a business that's paying you $5,000 a month, right? Because not only can that pay your bills, but that can help you fix and or build your credit profile. Once your credit's fixed, you know, maybe you have to wipe the car repossession off, the late payments, the, the uh, collections, whatever it is, Add some history and get funding. The next thing you want to do, whether you're on the West Coast, North, South, East Coast, smack dab in the middle of the country, go out there and, you know, find out, figure out where you live. Like, when you know where you live, if I look where I live, I really don't want to buy real estate in where I live because... One, where I live, it's all residential. There literally are no two families and they kind of designed the city I live in that way. They really don't want the... People, I guess, that come with two families, it's not bad people, but they want more like families and stuff. So I look for a city that has, you know, cheap real estate because like personally, 
What I know about real estate is every single city eventually has to get fixed up. So even those cities that look like war zones, look like third world countries, for example, Trenton, New Jersey, the capital of New Jersey, third world country. It looks like a third world country. But I know that the gentrification process, they're going to keep coming down New Jersey and fixing it all up. Those northern Jersey cities, Newark, um, Irvington, Bergen, Patterson, they're all getting fixed up and prices are skyrocketing. Trenton, Camden, cheaper. And you can do the same thing for where you're located. Find out, okay, maybe everything where I live is 500 grand. I know if you live in California, you're not going to find no houses like I bought for 10 grand, but maybe you could find them for 100, maybe 200. Now you don't have 100 or 200 in cash. Now, Felix, now what do I do? Your plan is broken. No, it's not because you buy it with credit. You pay the cards back with their own money and you buy your first investment property with credit. If you got 300 grand in funding and a house costs, say you get a multifamily for, we're just gonna say average price, say 250, right? You could do no doc loans. No doc loans means you need no tax returns, you need no income, all you need is a decent credit score, which you got a decent credit score. So just say, you know, an average no doc loan, what they want you to do is put down between 10 to 20% of what the purchase price is. So. 10% on 100 is 10, let's just say 20% would be 40, 80. Just say ballpark on a $250,000 property, you got to put down 100,000. But you got $250,000 in funding. So now that you have your business, whether it's phones, Shopify, Amazon, I don't know, uh, you got a service based business, you're flipping medical commodities, which I would recommend. It's quick cash and it's, you know, it's pretty secured. Take that money, get your credit right. Once your credit's right, find the city or market where you live that's untapped. Find the hood, find the war zones and go to them and buy something. Because I'm telling you, in two to five years, that's not going to be a war zone no more. It's going to be almost impossible to buy a property there. The properties I got in Trayon, man, right now, they're worth like 150, right? I bought one of them for 10, it's worth 150, all fixed up. I bought another one for 73, it's worth 150, all fixed up. The other ones I bought for, I think, uh, nine, and it came with a free lot, so that's worth like close to 400. I bought it for nine grand, crazy. In three to five years, it's gonna be worth, the ones that are worth 150, gonna be worth close to 300,000. And everybody's gonna say, I should have bought in Trenton. I should have bought in Trenton. But you're, they're not buying in Trenton. They're buying up north, which at one point looked like Trenton. So the one city in your area that you're scared of is going to look like the nice town that you live in right now. Everything gets fixed up eventually. Everything. You ever drive through a city like, oh my God, when, did it, when does it look like this? It happens all the time. So to recap, get you a business. Flipping test strips, medical commodities, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Flipping phones. Me, me personally, I wouldn't. If, if you got no money at all, you're dead broke, and you need fast income, flipping medical commodities or diabetic supplies, your best option. From there, get your credit right. Remove those derogatory accounts, marks. Um, add history. Get funding. From there, start finding real estate. Because real estate is the only business that is never going nowhere. Rain or shine, markets up or down, global crash or not, people got to pay their rent. So get properties with your credit, with a business that's cash flowing, and you'll have multiple, not only will you have a cash flowing business, but you'll have cash flowing properties. That is what I would do for 2020. Get yourself some real estate, get yourself a stable business, and get your credit right. Don't be scared of credit. Don't only play with cash. You're playing this entrepreneur business game way wrong. Thank you guys for watching the channel. I have some big things coming to this channel. I've been speaking with some other YouTubers who have around 200 to 300,000 subscribers and we're working on some collaborations and some different things for the growth of this channel. Also, merchandise is coming soon. Expected to be in January or February for the first merchandise drop. I appreciate everyone's support. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. When we hit 3,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure to help me hit that 3,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.